Learning Python in 2025 is not the same as it was 5 years ago. Most people waste months learning from tutorials and still cannot build a single real world project. So even if you are a beginner or someone switching careers, this is the Python roadmap for you. I've spent years decoding what works and what's fluff and if I had to start from scratch today, this is exactly how I would do it. Hey, I am Aman and in this video I am going to give you a step by step roadmap to learn Python faster, smarter and without wasting time. So before we dive into it, let's quickly talk about why Python is even worth learning. Reason number one, versatility. Web development, AI, data science, automation, Python can handle everything like a champ. Reason number two, job demand. Python consistently ranks among the top three most in demand programming language. Reason number three, the salary isn't bad either. I'm going to let you Google the salaries for your desired position. And finally, this is great for just about everyone. Whether you are working professionally, building side projects or just exploring Python as a hobbyist, it has something for everyone. So yeah, Python's awesome. But here's the thing. Most people get stuck watching video after video and never actually move forward. Tutorials are great, no doubt, but tutorial hell, that's where most people lose momentum. So how do you actually learn Python and not just binge tutorials? Here's the core idea. Spend 20% of your time learning and 80% actually coding. That's it. That's the secret. It's simple but not easy. And that difference really matters. Now, here's the exact process I would follow. Step number one, master the basics quickly. This should take you one to two weeks maximum. And especially in the world of AI, mastering the basics can be done pretty quickly. You don't have to learn about every single built-in function here, but just enough so that you should be able to solve some basic problems. Pick one resource, just one, to learn the basics. Variables, data types, loops, functions and basic object-oriented programming. That's it. Don't spend months here, just enough knowledge to start building something and then the rest you are going to learn on the go. I'd recommend that you pick either a short course that focuses on practical examples, something from YouTube or even a paid program like our Python 30 day course or you can even look at Python's official documentation. Of course, everyone learns differently but when you are just starting out, videos are super useful because you really do need things broken down slowly okay and you learn a lot when you're listening to someone who's experienced this leads me to step number two which is interactive learning you need to spend a few weeks here learning and developing your skills in an interactive way try to predict what the code does before you run it mess with it break it see what happens the more you interact with the code, the more you're going to learn. The most important point here, again, 20% watching and 80% doing. Once you've mastered the syntax and you have confidence, the next step is to pick a niche. This is where most people fail. They keep watching general Python videos instead of diving deeper into a specific area. Need some help picking a niche? Here are a few great options. First would be web development with something like Django, Flask or Fast API. Second, game development with something like Pygame. Third could be data analytics with Pandas or NumPy. And then machine learning with TensorFlow or PyTorch. AI agents with Langchain or Langgraph, building automation scripts for your daily tasks. And lastly, hardware projects with something like a Raspberry Pi. Pick any one of those and once you've picked a niche, you need to complete a project in that area. When you get stuck and you will get stuck. Look up solutions specific to those problems. For example, if you're making a Django site and you cannot figure out the authentication, search for that specific issue rather than watching a three hour Django tutorial video. This is where you're going to learn the most. So pick a niche. Think of a specific project, something you actually want to work on, learn on the skills and actually finish it. Doing this 
forces you to learn so much more than simply following along with tutorials. And while tutorials help you, most of the learning happens when you are struggling, failing and constantly looking for solutions on your own. You can pick anything that interests you. The most important thing is that you make sure to stick with it. So at this point you've learned the syntax, you've practiced interactively, you've dove into a niche and now it's time to become Pythonic. That's step number four. This is the time to level up and learn what makes Python code elegant and efficient. This is where you're going to transition from writing code that just works to writing code that's clean, efficient and distinctly Python. Let's talk about some specific Python features that separate beginners from intermediates that you're definitely wanna gonna learn, especially if you're gonna get better in Python. The first is list comprehension. It's not just shorter, it's actually faster and more memory efficient in many cases and it's very popular in Python code. Next we have generator expressions. When dealing with large data sets, this is crucial and can save you a lot of time and a lot of memory. Next, context managers. The with statement can handle resource cleanup automatically and it's something that's really important to understand. Then we have dictionary and set operations. These are extremely valuable to learn and I find that they are heavily underused in Python code considering what they can do. Next we have decorators. These let you modify functions without changing their code and they show up in a ton of Python frameworks. The key point here is that Python has a lot of unique features that make people love or hate using the language. So spend some time, dive into these and learn about the more advanced and Pythonic features. I obviously didn't cover all of them in this video. I'm just giving you a few examples so that you get an idea of what I mean. All right, so now let's move on to step number five, which is to keep building and keep shipping. Now, this is where most programmers plateau. They learn the basics, but they never develop the habit of finishing projects. Typically, the developers who progress the fastest are those who constantly finish their projects and they actually ship it. Let me explain what I mean by shipping projects. This means using version control properly. Create a GitHub account if you don't have one already. Learn the basics of Git, learn how to commit, push, pull, set up branches, write meaningful commit messages and learn how to structure your repository professionally. For web apps, you can use something like Heroku or Render. For data projects, you can create shareable notebooks on Google Collab or on something like Kaggle. For utilities, you can package them properly with setup tools and for web services, you can learn Docker and containerize them. Honestly, there are all kinds of ways to deploy your application and it's obviously hard to cover all of this in this video. But the point is, you should actually finish your project and ship it out into the world. The habit of finishing projects compounds over time. Each completed project builds your practical problem solving skills, increases your confidence, adds to your work portfolio and most importantly, teaches you to work through the boring parts of coding. One professional, fully completed project is worth a lot more than a dozen half-finished tutorials. And the best developers finish what they start. Remember, the goal here is not to be good at Python tutorials, it's to be good at building things with Python. That's the point of coding. Now here are my final thoughts for this video. If you're six months into learning Python and you haven't built anything substantial yet, you are doing it wrong. The pattern is simple. Learn a little bit, build something, get stuck, learn what you need to learn to fix that and repeat. That's the roadmap that I wish someone had shown me when I started. No jargon, no shortcuts, just pure clarity. If you found this helpful, drop in a like share it with someone who's stuck in tutorial hell and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be dropping more no-nonsense tech roadmaps every week. 
And hey, if you're serious about landing a dev job or want to explore AI, check out my Python and AI program link in the description. Catch you in the next one.